Hey there! In today's video, we will be talking about um, how to approach investing, especially when you're just starting out. And this might be helpful for all of you who are looking into beginning um, your investing here in Kenya. So, in this video, I'll look at it broadly in two approaches so the first lens is more so about you as the investor the kind of questions you want to ask yourself about yourself as the investor before you start while the second lens is about the investment itself um, and the kind of things you need to look at before choosing the right investment for you there will be timestamps so you can check them out in the description box um, let's begin So when it comes to understanding yourself as an investor, the first thing you want to look at is your own personal goals and your values. So maybe here you'd want to ask yourself, what matters to me and where do I see myself short term, medium term and long term? So where do I see myself in a year, in three years, in five, in ten and so on and so forth? And maybe you can ask yourself, um, are there any um, important uh, life changes that could be happening? For example, um, advancing in education, maybe um, starting a career, getting married, having children, changing jobs or career paths or maybe um, leaving your career and going into retirement a lot of these major life decisions have a cost attached to them so you want to have a clear vision of what it is you want your life to look like and i talked about this in another video that i link above so that when you have an idea of that then you can um, choose your investments accordingly then you want to ask yourself specifically like why are you investing what do you want the investment to do for you? And usually the answer to this question, there are three potential answers. So the first is to safeguard or to preserve your capital. That is the one you put into your investment. And usually this kind of investments are what are considered lower risk because you're sure that the money you put in, you can be able to get it at the end of the investment. So they are lower risk um, and most likely will have a lower return attached to them you could also want to invest to get a bit of growth but still have um, some security attached to your investment and then lastly you could be investing for huge capital gains where you want to see a lot of profit a lot of um, return from your investment but as they say high risk um, high reward so um, the higher risk investment definitely will could bring you high reward but that risk attached to it will definitely be there so understanding um these different types of reasons for investments can also help you to create an investment portfolio so your investment portfolio is just a combination of all the kind of investments you have so you can uh, split it into these different three reasons according to what you want out of investing and if you think about it um, when you invest into anything they should be telling you maybe which category the kind of investment you are getting yourself into would fall under is it low risk is it medium or balanced or is it um, high risk or you know a kind of growth fund that would get you a lot of return on your investment the next thing you want to think about is risk with any sort of investment there is a risk attached so you want to ask yourself as an investor um, about three things your risk appetite your risk capacity and your risk tolerance so when it comes to your risk appetite it's just simply are you willing <laughs> to put um, to take any risks with your investments and it's not a hard yes or no kind of question it's more so a range so um, if you want to further um, prod yourself when it comes to this maybe think about what your reaction would be if your investment went down by like 20% in value overnight how would you respond would you be able to sleep at night would you be relaxed about it because people who have higher risk um, appetites tend to be more comfortable with um, short-term fluctuations even if they are very significant people who have a lower risk appetite might be averse to such drastic um, changes in the investment value and 
the reality that whatever they put in they might lose it all together so this is something to obviously think about so that you can choose the investments that match your risk appetite so the second thing is your risk capacity so you might have a very high uh, risk appetite but you don't have enough money to uh, maybe be putting all that small um, income or that small amount of money for savings into risky investments um, also you might have a high risk appetite but you are older and nearing retirement and so it might not be the best to have a lot of your money in higher risk investments so here there is something called the rule of a hundred um, where you take a hundred and you subtract your age so they say that what you get that is the percentage you can allocate to riskier investments and the idea there is that the younger you are the more risks you can take because you have time in your favor the older you are you might want to go a lot safer so that you make sure you have enough cash flow in your retirement years it's something you can think about but it's not a hard and fast rule you know yourself or you can get to know yourself and determine what would be the best percentage allocation um, based on your age your income and just your capacity to tolerate risk the third thing under risk would be your risk tolerance so you know your risk appetite and your capacity so it's nice to also put it in exact limits or figures or percentages knowing that um say um, i have a low risk appetite so i'll only put between one to three percent of my savings into high risk uh, investments so having that idea of course it can change over time but knowing that this is how much risk i'm willing to tolerate you have a percentage or you have a figure you're like no matter what i can tolerate maybe five thousand per month <laughs> into risky investments or 200 bob per month into risky investments the last thing you want to think about as an investor is your investment horizon which is something i spoke about when we talked about the personal goals like how long do you want to own this investment or another way to think about it is when will you want your money back from this investment when will you want to exit or get out of this investment um so again there are short term ones there's medium term and there's long term so understanding your investment horizon there are some investments that work well for you know a short term six months one year you know under three years there are some that work well for you know three to ten years and there are some where you need to play the long game so even when you're going into it you're going into it with the patience that it's only in 10 15 20 years time when i'll truly see the benefit of this investment so the first thing is the theory of the investment itself do you understand what this instrument is are you able to explain what this investment is to yourself and to other people if not it's definitely okay to seek out um professional advice um hopefully unbiased because sometimes professionals will sell you their product even if it's not um, with your best interests in mind um feel free to do your own research find maybe a course online and learn more about these different investments before you dive into it next thing you want to think about about the investment itself is the liquidity um, liquidity is just the ease of converting that asset or that investment into cash so if it is more liquid you can get it converted into cash much faster so does um, your investment being liquid matter to you um, it's something to have at the back of your mind so that when you are say buying a house you understand that a house is illiquid it would take a while to convert that asset back into cash while something like say a money market fund is highly liquid and you can access the cash from it in a day or two or three days of course another thing is the rate of return of your investment like how much interest are you getting from this investment because again that's why you're investing and not leaving your money in a current account or you know hiding it under your mattress this is where um, companies or um, investment bodies can be a little cheeky so associated with the rate of return you have to think about all the fees that are attached to this investment are there management fees um, are there transactional fees are there penalties for maybe taking out your money um, 
earlier than a certain period are there any tax implications whether there are taxes on it or tax benefits from this investment so you want to know all the fees so that when you're thinking about the rate of return it is your net interest and not your gross interest before all these things are deducted So those are like the main things you want to think about before you start investing and some pro investment tips i've talked about it in my pillars of financial independence it is important to me to at least be slowly building an emergency fund especially if you plan to get into investing you don't want to just put all your money into something and not have some source of security so your emergency fund can give you that it can guarantee that maybe for one month or three months or six months or even up to a year you if anything happened if your investment dips significantly if you lose your sources of income you have um, a pot somewhere that can you know keep you stable until you get back on track so that's one key um, tip I would give of course again invest in only what you understand and lastly invest money that you are willing to lose as i said with investment there's always a risk attached to it so make sure when you're investing you are investing an amount of money that you are willing to lose especially with the higher risk investments so this was the first part of this two part um series let's say about investing um and in the second part i'll talk about a resource that has helped me to go into the actual specifics on what kind of investment options are available for me if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and check out my video on um saving money and how i approach it um, make sure you leave a comment down below about what uh, matters to you when it comes to investing thank you so much for watching always remember that your hair is your crown and your body is a temple embrace it love it and take care of it Bye!